You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your latest Days of Our Lives comings and goings update. We have a major actor out sick for a handful of episodes, and another soap alum is replacing him. We also have a hot couple back this week. They're not really a couple, but half the couple would like them to be a couple, and so that's interesting. It seems like they might be sticking around. However, I have an update on the male actor that's part of that couple to tell you why he won't be sticking around and we have a return of a sideline character played by a reality personality we're going to dig into all of that right now first is greg vaughn's exit as eric brady so greg vaughn got sick with covid sick enough that he had to be hospitalized and miss like a week or so off of work and i'm sure they still have you know the mandatory couple of weeks I don't know what the current policy is because I know they have relaxed a lot of stuff. But when you have that, you can't come back to work until you have a clean test and all that. And he was obviously pretty sick with it if he was in the hospital. So on August 3rd, Greg Vaughn revealed that he was temporarily out as Eric Brady. And he said it would be sometime in August. And he talked about how he couldn't work for several episodes. He says he thinks that his replacement is going to be seen in four or five episodes, confirmed to be in scenes with Jessica Serfati, who played plays Sloan Peterson, his baby mama. So Days tapped a friend of Greg Vaughn's. This is a buddy of his back from General Hospital. The actor's name is Jason Gerhardt. If you watch GH, you might recognize him. He played Cooper Barrett, who was a criminal turned cop, turned mob stool pigeon, turned, oh, the dead victim of the text message killer on General Hospital. He's uh, about the same age, you know, got the silver fox thing going on, and he's a top-notch actor, so that should be a fine recast for just a few days, and then we'll have Hunt Greg Vaughn back on the scene for Sloan to be getting more pregnant and there to be more drama because unbeknownst to Eric, he's got two babies coming cooking in two different baby mama ovens. All right. Also this week, we are going to see Josh Flagg from, I think his show is Million Dollar Listing. Don't hold my feet to the fire if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. And the only soap reality show that I, the only real estate reality show I like is Selling Sunset. Chris Staus is so good on there. Just, you know, not for nothing, but that. All right. So Josh Flagg is back as Yuri. He's the, the tech guy, the gazillionaire who had almost made a deal with Maggie Horton that Alex Kiriakis was supposed to close. He couldn't close. Then Maggie fired him. And then Brady hired Alex over at Basic Black. And Alex was able to scoop that Yuri deal up for Basic Black, infuriating Maggie. But now Stephanie Johnson has lured Yuri back to Salem. And she's going to try to put this deal back together for Maggie, I think, because it looks like that Chad is in the mix as well. Although Chad and Stephanie end up arguing this week. So we will have to see if there is a done deal. We have also saw the last of Cassie DePiva. She was back as Eve Donovan, unfortunately, for just one episode, just a one and done. She had a little moment of catharsis with Harris Michaels, who was her high school tormentor. They seem to have some peace between them because she certainly knows about revenge and she kind of told him all the crazy stuff she did because Ben Weston killed her daughter Paige. However, Tamara Braun is sticking around. She has several more scenes as Ava Vitale, who is Harris Michaels' new Bayview buddy. They are bonding. We also have Cameron Johnson exiting as Theo Carver. He went back to South Africa last week. He was going to stick around because his dad, Abe Carver, is still an amnesiac, but his stepmom, Paulina Price, said, you know what? Go back, live your life. We don't know how long this is going to last. I'll let you know. So he took off. Then word is going to spread week the week of August 14th that Victor Kiriakis has died in a plane crash that will formally end the run of John Aniston's character on Days of Our Lives nine months 
after the actor passed away on November 11th, 2022. John Paul Lavoise is back very soon as a recast Philip Kyriakis for the funeral. All right, one more thing to talk about. Rex Brady and Sarah Horton are back on this week. It's been since the end of May when they were around. Maggie Horton heads up to Chicago to see her daughter and is stunned to see a big old baby bump on her. And of course, Sarah tries to pass it off as Rex's kid, but her mom knows better. She flat out tells Sarah she knows that is Xander's baby. And then she starts pressuring her to do the right thing and come clean to Xander, come what may. She doesn't want to, and Rex Rex definitely doesn't want her to do any of that. So Rex makes it very clear he wants to marry her, raise this baby, and keep both of them far away from Xander. However, if you were expecting to see Rex and Sarah on screen living a happily ever after, that won't happen. If Sarah does accept his proposal and just fades into the background with him and the baby, which would seem really weird after they've conjured her back up, that is absolutely not going to happen because Kyle Louder does not have time to do this. I'm going to tell you why in just a second, but I know we're all hoping that Xander finds out about the baby, but unless Lindsay Godfrey is going to stick around to stay, it kind of seems strange them bringing Bringing it all back up. All right. Oh, and one quick note before I tell you about this Kyle Louder thing. We did a standalone days video about days going dark and being shut down because of the allegations and the apparently unsatisfactory investigation from the feelings of cast and crew on Days of Our Lives into that producer, Albert Alar. And on Friday, Days of Our Lives producer Ken Corday revealed that they had fired him. They have replaced him with a woman who is going to be the new co-EP and the new Friday episode director, it looks like. Albert Alar, for his part, put out a statement saying that he was that a couple of people are targeting him because of pay and other interests. And he said that he was being targeted because he was a black man in a position of power. Nonetheless, he is fired and we'll have to see if anything else comes of this. But as far as we know, and I will confirm for you in our next Days of Our Lives video, which will come out tomorrow, whether or not Days has the lights back on and they're back to work because the cast signed a petition and said they didn't want to come back to work until they had someone directing them and producing that they could trust. So, we will see. It looks like that Corday Productions caved to this pressure. All right. So the last bit about Kyle Lauder. Uh, real quick, though, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our day's updates. If you're enjoying this casting update, click us a thumbs up and share your comments below. So the reason I don't think that Rex and Sarah are going to stick around as a couple, even if they decide to raise Xander's baby, even if there's a big showdown, is because as of July 6th, Kyle Lauder started a new job as a morning news anchor in Reno, Nevada. This isn't just like a short term gig or like one of those special things where they have an actor on to like, you know, do the weather or something now and then. No, he is a bona fide co-anchor of the morning news. He's on like the 4.30 to 7 a.m. shift. If you're interested in seeing him, check out the Reno Morning News. He said that they stream it online. I'm sure you can find it very easily. So... As of now, remember, Days of Our Lives tapes six months out. So he started this job on July 6th. So, yes, he may have taped some more episodes in the interim. But what that means is after like December or January, he probably does not have room. He did not have room in his schedule to appear on those episodes. So anything airing between now and January are things that have already taped prior to July. I know that's hard to wrap your heads around the the calendar of how it works over there sometimes. So because of that, we still may see a good bit of Rex, but towards the end of the year, that's going to be impossible. He's got this new job. All right. That's all of our days, comings, and goings for now. We appreciate you listening. Check back very soon on our channel for more Days of Our Lives spoilers, updates, and more. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 